Nice to be in Cardiff. We haven't been here since last night. This next song is, um, well, I had a job before this. I used to work in a market selling fruit and veg. And, uh, and uh, when I was bored, I used to write songs on the back of brown paper bags. And that would take away some of the boredom. Other things that would take away the boredom is when a really good looking girl would come in and ask me for a quarter of cherries. So I'd serve her the cherries and as she leaned over I would look down at top as she and, uh, and uh, it was pretty good actually. She had a big arthritis problem. But uh, hopefully then I would bump into her later that night in the local shithole club and he would give me an opening line and I would say, how were the cherries? And she'd say, uh, are you all right? And then, uh, I know, and then feeling cocky, I'd say, uh, do you want a vodka? And she'd say, Aye, I'll have a vodka. So, you know, you're on a roll and you walk into the bar and you've got a spring in your step and you're thinking you're fucking Steve McQueen. And you turn around and you go, do you want a bag of nuts? And she says, I fucking push the boat out, let's have a bag of nuts. So, so you're at the bar and you're talking and it's, uh, it's going all right. And then, you know, you're going back and forth to the toilet and you, uh, you start talking to yourself in the mirror. You can fucking do this. You can do this. Don't fuck this up. And, and, uh, you start pulling what's known as the mirror face, where you suck your cheeks in and you hold your chin out and you look like this. And uh, you're nowhere fucking near as good looking as your mirror face. Which is why every time you see a photo of yourself, you think you're fucking pig rough. So you go back to the bar and you start painting the perfect sketch of a perfect male and she starts believing you the more vodka that you plow down her neck. And then, uh, you know, before you know it, you're in the back of a Nissan Mini Cab. Luther Van Dross is on the fucking radio and you're on your way to her house. So, you get to her house and she's always got a pain in the ass fucking mate in the living room. So you've got to go in the kitchen because that's where the party is. So you get to the kitchen and she goes, do you want some cheese on toast? And, and you go, uh, nah, I'll have some cheese on toast, I fuck it. And if she's a posh bird and she's got loads of money, she'll go, uh, do you want to splash under your parents on the top? And uh, yeah, you go, oh, I'll have that as well. So you start ramming down the cheese on toast. And then before you know it, you're lying down on the smelly, shitty rug in front of the dodgy gas fire doing the dirty deed. We've all been there. I'm sure some of you will be there tonight. And then... Uh, you know, you're bumping and grinding and you're performing, you know, you, you're doing your thing. You're thinking you're Tom fucking Jones. Trust me, I know. And then uh, you wake up in the morning and you look across and you look at her and you realize that she was nowhere fucking near as good looking as you thought she was the night before. So this is a song about that time. This is called More Life in a Tramp's Vest.